What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series 3 R Truth and Seth Rollins figures. Now, if my energy level for this review or just in general is off, man, it's because the last couple days I have been diagnosed with the flu, apparently, and I've been battling it, man. Just extreme fatigue. It's crazy. I feel like I'm talking in slow motion as I'm saying this, but hopefully, you guys do enjoy this greatest hits wave. Is a little bit weird, you know? And I'm gonna be honest, the figure that I I was most looking forward to out of this set actually didn't even come out, man. I'm talking about the Bray Wyatt figure. Rest in peace to the legend Bray Wyatt. That figure I was, mo I was most looking forward to the most out of this entire set. And of course, we don't know when we're getting Bray Wyatt figures again, so I figured I'd start things off with R-Truth and Seth Rollins. I wanted to post yesterday and then today, but man, I'm telling you, I, I was, I've was i been out of it, bro. I've just been completely zombified. Nonetheless, man, we do have R-Truth and we do have Seth Rollins right here, and they don't look half bad. You know, I'm actually kind of low-key excited for these to dive into it see all the different details compare them to their original formats you know so that'll be interesting to see but i don't know the greatest hits wave i feel like it's been hit and miss there's some figures that i think have been fantastic and some i just felt like were completely off the mark but we'll dive into all those things man but if you guys want to grab these figures you can do so over at ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com go over there save some money use code md toys and get in on the cyber monday sales and all the different stuff going on over there but definitely use the code i'd greatly appreciate it man but here is the our truth figure looking pretty good right there you know excited to have our truth back maybe we'll get some updated figures of course but uh there's seth rollins as well oh for two for me on seth rollins and the greatest hits wave there's so many things they could have done and they just they just didn't do it man but we do have this brand new 2023 2024 packaging got a shot of both men there shot of both men on the back right there which is crazy a little bio read rest of the figures in the wave i feel like there's like 752 figures in this wave but there it is greatest hits and then the uh the of course the names of the superstars but with that being said man let's shut the hell up let's crack these guys out of their packaging put them on the rotating base and find out what this greatest hit series three or truth and seth rollins are all about so here's Seth Rollins and R-Truth out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing right here. Now, this is the Elite 10 R-Truth and the Elite 33 Seth Rollins originally. That is what these figures are based off of. You guys know that the Greatest Hits line, if you guys were unaware, the Greatest Hits line is to get old figures back in, uh, back back out there for everybody to collect. So if you guys missed out on the first time, you know they're, these figures are kind of harder to come by now. I don't really know who was clamoring for an Elite 10 R-Truth. I think Elite 78 R-Truth would have been better, to be honest. Then Elite 33 Seth Rollins. I don't really know where the hell that fits in either, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, the cash-in Toys R Us exclusive one that they used last time, I thought that was better. Even though, you know, even though we had our issues with that figure, you know, we had our issues with that figure. But anyways, 0 for 2 on Seth Rollins, to be honest with you. Elite 45, where the hell's our Elite 45 Rollins? But I guess if they're going to just give us the same treatment with double jointed arms and it's not going to be like full updated formula, then I guess I'm okay with not getting that Elite 45 Seth Rollins. But nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and dive into Seth Rollins accessories and Seth Rollins, then we'll run it back and take a closer look at our truth accessories and our truth. All right, guys, so getting into Seth Rollins' accessories starting out, we do get a championship belt as well as three pairs of interchangeable hands. Now, pretty sure in the original figure, he did come with tag title, so we are getting the penny belt coming back. Now, I gotta be real, and I've said this before on the channel, but this is like my least favorite championship in WWE history. I can't stand it. I never thought it looked good, you know? I just don't like the bronze plates and whatnot. Then when they switched them to like, you know, the silver with the, the red straps and the, and the blue straps. I, I like that a lot better, but it's still not that great, and we've had them for, for so long. We need new tag titles, but yeah, we do get a, a penny belt. We finally get the penny belt brought back, and it does look a little bit differently. Like, the colors and stuff like that are different compared to the original. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get black fisted hands here, and they're not, like, molded. They're just painted hands, pretty much. Like, the, the, pegs, are, the pegs are black, and then the hands are black. Like, they're not sculpted. They're literally just painted fisted hands. You also get mic holding hands right here. This one seems to look like a damn choke slamming hand. Like, well, why is the grip so damn wide? And then last but not least, you do get the Kawhi Leonard Ricochet hand shaking style hands, as always. All right, guys, so getting into the Seth Rollins figure itself, starting off the head sculpt, it pretty much is the Elite 33 head sculpt with just like some true effects applied to it. Nothing too immaculate or over the top. Also, I'm noticing the hair is a bit like more yellow instead of the flat white or blonde. So yeah, nothing too crazy going on there. It's not anything like, you know, I, I don't know, earth shattering, but all this stuff is the exact same as the original, like this vest here, the shield logo. He does have the double jointed arms that are pinless. So he also has this like OG skin tone, so 
Back in the day, they used to give Seth Rollins the, like, Finn Balor skin tone, so now he does have, like, a darker skin tone, but you have the same, like, shield crotch and legs and everything going down right here. I actually hate this leg mold, but, yeah, they're not pinless or anything, but, yeah, I don't know. Just not the best figure of all time here, to be honest with you. I don't know why we got this figure. I just don't understand. So, for your Seth Rollins figure comparisons, we do have the original Elite 33 Seth Rollins on the left, and then we have the Elite 25 Seth Rollins on the right. So, this is, like, the first ever Seth Rollins Elite of a here and then this is the greatest hits and this is the original counterpart so you guys can see it's just the double jointed arms and I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the hair but this is more like blondish and yellow than this is it's kind of hard to see on camera but that is the case right there so yeah that's I mean it's not anything again not earth shattering or anything like that but if you guys miss out on the first go around maybe this is the figure for you so getting into our truth accessories man starting out first we do have the cloth goods right here now this did come on the original figure but it is the stand up and say what's up shirt which is nice. It feels very high quality. It does have Velcro on the back as well. Very nice quality shirt right here. Got the good stuff going on with it. I like it. All the good things. Don't have to, you know, worry about staining and things of that nature, so that's good. Also comes with a plain black microphone, but you can see the modern WWE logo in there, and I'm pretty sure back when this figure was released originally, we were still doing the Scratch logo, so I don't know why they didn't just give us a Scratch logo microphone, but it is like a plain black microphone, and then it has the modern WWE logo on there, so there, there's that. Nothing uh, nothing too immaculate. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the left hand, which is blank or has nothing on it. It's like a bare hand. And then the right hand is gloved, and it does have the glove mold. So I wish they would do modern set. Like, if they do any throwback Seth Rollins, they need to use this glove mold right here, man. Like, give him gauntlets and give him this freak. Dude, this would be so nice to see. That glove molded hand, man. They need to use this more often. They need to use this on a lot of guys. So there's that, but he does have the black finger tape over there on the, uh, the bare hand. And then they give him the damn cane gloved hand right here. So this is like the choke slamming, like reaching out hand for a choke slam for Kane. But they gave it to R Truth, and it looks really good. And then on the bare hand, he's got the same pose, but it is a bare hand. So they didn't just use the opposite thing here. It's actually a bare hand. And I want to say that's a new sculpt. I don't think we've seen that unless it's been maybe on the last R Truth they did that, like the Elite Seventy Eight maybe. But we don't get this often. Like this is a very uh, rare occasion. All right, so getting into R Truth, starting out with the head sculpt. I've always thought that this head Head sculpt look like Travis Scott for whatever reason. Has a lot of like Travis Scott vibes going on with it, if uh, if you if I do say so myself. But the haircut looks good and everything. He does have his necklace on here. And I'm also noticing that they added this on his chest right here. That was not on the original figure, so I, I don't know. Uh, I guess it's more accurate. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they left that off on the original go or something. I don't know. But at least mine doesn't have it on there unless... I, I don't know. But he's very toy man. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got bicep bands. He's got elbow pads. He's got these like blue strings wrapped around his arms. He's got these gauntlets over here, which were not on the original figure either, so that's another thing they added to the figure, but he's got his tattoo here. He's got his gauntlet over here with his gloves. He's got the the belt right here with all these different rings and stuff. He's got R-Truth airbrushed on the front right here. R-Truth going down in the silver and white, which looks awesome. He's got like these black jeans on going on, and then he does have like his regular sneakers on there underneath, which is cool, but I don't know. I've always liked R-Truth figures for whatever reason, man. They're just fun. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. They're just awesome. Before your R-Truth figure comparisons, guys, here is the original Elite 10 over here, and then the new one in the middle there. You guys can see that they add, did add that chest tattoo right there, whatever. I'm not taking these strings off, because once they fall off, they're gone forever. I'm not going to be, you know, I, I did that with this one, I'm pretty sure, and so that, that did happen there. And you guys also notice the graphics look a bit different between these two. Like, the graphics bigger and probably more accurate on the new one. I'm not entirely sure, but they look very, very similar. But uh, head sculpts are pretty much the exact same. Like, it says that they get, like, it says true effects or maybe, but uh, I'm not really seeing any differences between the head sculpts. And then I think this is the Elite 2 R-Truth, I think. I'm not entirely sure there either, but I don't know. He's got a very unique, a lot of unique things going on with him. I think he looks awesome, but I really enjoy R-Truth figures. He's just always got, like, bells and whistles going on, so it's always fun to collect his figures and see all the different stuff you get with him. So, yeah, there is your uh, R-Truth figure comparisons for this Greatest Hits figure. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Greatest Hits Seth Rollins and our truth series three figures man i don't know I, I i don't hate the figures whatsoever i do like the additions like our truth i like a lot because he's very toyetic like he's got a lot of bells and whistles you know when you take in 
into account. Like his armbands there, and you got his elbow pads, his necklace, his gloves. Like he's he's a very toyetic guy, and then he's got his you know he's got his shirt in there, so you get a lot of stuff going on with this R Truth figure. And then the Seth Rollins, I don't like the Shield figures. Like the Shield figures never pose round well, and just that damn you know that Shield leg mold, I can't stand it either. And then on Seth Rollins figures back in the day, they didn't give him his tan, so this figure is very light and like pale. So that's a, just another issue, man. I just don't see what like we got this figure for, in my opinion. But if you guys want these figures or you like what you see already and you want to add them to your collection and whatnot, man, you can't go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10% over there and get in on all the deals and different stuff like that, man. But at the end of the day, that's pretty much going to wrap up my review of these figures, man. I don't know how I'll do the rest. Like, we have five more figures in the rest of the set. I don't think I'm going to do two-in-one reviews for the rest of the way. I don't know. You guys can let me know. Should I just do the next five all in a set? Should I do them two and two and two? I don't I don't know. I don't know what. They, like, Typho Typhoon and Earthquake can go together. Roddy Piper and The Rock can go together because they're both, like, Hollywood figures. But Beefcake's just kind of chilling on his own there. So it's like, I, I don't know what to do there. I don't, you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. However, man, before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas for your continued support support. Always appreciate each and every single one of you guys for your continued support on the channel. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.